Alim omlet lom om zong a tralai de tain a let him as our zog a po to an a hun rem tang. Yuva ut saf to rampum who have been lom make an ea. Yuva ut saf he at all katnatan tun chatung hian. India must take trunk from a district that some long to run ea. To Mizulzu to a Mizoram University, I saw a march ni some ni pani ni la ni can. Nehru yuva can draw, I saw to a program and huay hot any. He who not him professor. Paravakar Rat, Vice Chancellor, Mizoram University to call Liani in Ramle, Nam Masona, Atana, Chalai, the Poimo, Zia, Asoya, Nam Shang Shang Ten, Chong Shang, Sakobia, Shang Pony, Maila, India, Kuale, to Ikani, Natuan, get Takamin, Puer, Koma Wangin, Gantium, the late, not a Ganto, Kom, Juan, Hera, Miro, Puita, and Siam, Tedoni, Atieni, M. Zatiwa, Yuva Utsav, Lomnahi, Paramrati, District Youth Officer, NYK, Izol, in a Kai Shoya, M. Zatu Zirlai stayed trunk, shang a tongue local to one, and num lam tele, and Zaite, Munum Takin and Ronlan Tirani. You would serve Lomna here in Central Bureau of Communication. I sold to an India Zalena Tampa here, Tengan exhibition and Naya, Salak, Munum let me let a tacte and Ron Poach who are any. Tuna here and I sold that you would serve Lomna, M. Zatu auditorium a program to bomb that to conceal you don't any. To Madar Som Paletan via Kualian Professor Parvakal Rat, Vice Chancellor Mizoram University to Ron Lut in Paramrati, District Youth Officer NYK Izol to Anama Lomna Pangpar, Lohana, Eminu Yan Kual the Om Professor Sudipata Chatopadia, Dean SCTM ZU to Pangpar Lanzuyani A, District Youth Officer NYK Izol Paramrati to An, you would serve Lomna Lo Telzir Tir to Telzir Light and Hena Lom to Shilin, Alo Loma. Eminu Yan, Professor Sudipata Chatopadia, calls the Obtuan Tuto Soya. This and my warm wishes to our chief guest here, uh, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Prabhakar Rajasar, and the dignitaries delegates from uh, Nehru Yuba Kendra, Aizal, uh, and uh, my dear students. You people have gathered here. Uh, because of this program uh, carries some importance. Basically, <coughs> this Nehru Yuva Kendra is basically under the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Government of India. And these are basically, means this department is basically facilitating uh, the youths to build up the nation as uh, uh, Param sir told. Uh, so that is why means today's uh, youth is basically um, you will be facing all the things and whatever improvement we'll be having uh, in the uh, global sense in uh, in your region also you will be means uh, the fruit of that you will be getting okay hey no young kualiam professor parvakar rat vice chancellor mz you to rounding to work into run so is we any and a lot of programs today whether it is uh, culture or entertainment uh, and uh, yesterday there was a program I, uh, where I was uh, also a guest there, Unity in Diversity. Whatever it may be, the, if Manipur is known for its own dance and culture, Mizoram is known for dance and culture, any entertainment, cultural activities, Assam, Bihu. Uh, so all putting together, they have planned different items, bringing from all states, joining any one platform although we say no unity in our diversity our cultural our our race our, our language our custom it may be different but there are many forums we we get ourselves united that is why we say you know unity uh, in diversity so this is a program that has been planned by the new nehru yuva kendra to to combine and to unite People of uh, all the states, mostly from the Northeast region in general and Mizoram in particular. I wish that this program is going to be beneficial, successful, and uh, there should be a great impact on you that how our country is moving forward and contributing to nation building in which the youth play a very, very important role. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity and to see you all in this auditorium which will expose you, will have a great exposure that uh, you will excel in your subject and in your field. Thank you so much. I mean, who is here? I'm going to tell you about the 
Subject can be na into in soy siak speech contest in bulletin ani ah tu po ito sense of duty iti ani. Mitin in mo pur na kan kutat lahi kan len chua at rules yate. Tumiti tay tur chuan mirin tlak le rin om beltian tlak kan ni apoy mo yate. Tuti ilay chuan kan mo pur na treo hishia in kan ti tur le ti lo tur te kua le tu iten sa chiang ila chuan sorkar lai puin sum tam tak seng ma alak na tam tak tahi in seng sa umi alaw ti lo tin may tay ani yate. So ilan ani. To na iwwe yut saaf man na MZU muna ngay po hiyan March la tira G20 Business in Kompuy ka nga ani a. Kual tra anon kaldo na wangin tale zung tam tak sengin ahun mati fay na tlang telo ni ani a. Ahun lai zon a fay le nge nge a. Masi anu lo ka kual tra te an liam ta mo tia bol lo te mutur. A om le may ni in zirlay pa katsua na soya. Heti yang hi kan tin tran fow kan tilti dan fow wani a wangin kan mo pur na. Kan ti tu le ti lo tu himi ti nin kan siya ta tru le ni ti te aron sa ito huwa kani. You came to him, we started laughing at him. They asked him, why do you carry a lamp? And he said, this lamp is not for me. It's for all of you to be able to see. You see, I'm actually blind. But I hold a lamp so that you can see. And that to me is a sense of duty. A duty that is so blindly humble that moves forward and helps to light the lives of others. So I was thinking today, all of us have a phone, right? My phone is not as pretty as all of you. I think you have better phones than I have. But I wanted to talk about the 11 different fundamental duties that the Constitution of India lists in Article 51A that was actually under the second, 82nd Amendment in 2002. So it goes like this. I have a phone, right? The first rule, the first duty is, I have three buttons, right? There's a home button, and then there's two sound buttons, right? So that's just like the Indian constitution, and the Indian flag, and the national anthem. Three things we must respect. Every time you look at your phone and you see these three buttons, I want you to remember that. And the next thing is, India is a country where there has been no terrorist attacks since 2014, now we have drones that are flying in uh, medicines and vaccines. We have almost 5.6 times, 5 .6 times the increase in budget, right? We have eight major religions, 700 minor and major languages. It's such a cool country. Why do the citizens need to have duty or a sense of duty? Imagine this. You fight for the right to have a classroom, but you eventually have a dirty classroom because you didn't clean it. What does that look like? Also, I noticed that the army has many different wings, but I think all of us here are thinking of only one kind of wing. Did I guess it right? Are you all thinking of chicken wings? Well, I want us to remember that the army has three wings. They're fighting for us nonstop. So the first thing that our, constitu our fundamental duties want us to list is we must cherish and follow the ideals that people fought for, the national struggle. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Respected. Uh, respected teachers, judges, and my dear friends. My name is Parvin Sora. I'm from Arunachal Pradesh, pursuing my BTEC here at Electrical Engineering at Port Sam. So today I would like to talk about sense. But I would like to speak up, uh, to you about one of the most important virtual role in our life, that is sense of our duties. As a sense of duty, duties come upon with lots of responsibilities like towards our, uh, towards our society, towards our family, towards our, ourselves. As a, citizen, as a citizen, we have a moral obliga obligation to contribute positively to the world around us. So, our sense of duty should guide, uh, guide us guide us what, to, uh, what is right regardless of our cause or inconvenience that it may bring us. We should take pride in our civic duties such as, vote, uh, such as voting, paying taxes, volunteering, and obeying rules and regulations. Thank you. I'm like I'm taller than this. <laughs> um, hi everyone, uh, my name is Joel Kopak from Civil Engineering Department, semester 6, third year. Um, before I could uh, go on saying about the sense of duty among the citizens, uh, I could like to ask a few things from you guys. Um, okay, first of all, uh, what's the region you came here? For me, I'm a participant, right? 
So, <laughs> I need to come here. But what about you guys? Um, <laughs> like, for example, uh, uh, let me get into that, please. Uh, my friends are there. Uh, they're cheering me up. Uh, the reason they came here because they love me. Uh, but it's not the reason, but uh, that's the other kind of reason. Or else, for you guys, might be it was mandatory to attend it. So what I wanted to indicate from here is, there are two reasons a person do an act, either by fear or either by love. So um, you might be, for the fear, it might be, uh, they say that uh, our actually told us that there's gonna be a roll call. I think it won't be, and the other. So, um, okay, let me get to my topic, okay. Uh, so my mom is a clerk to UDC, a for division clerk, and my dad is a teacher. So my dad have some responsibilities, either in his department, in his school, is teaching, and as well as for our um, education, health, and yeah, for my livelihood financially, he is the one who uh, give us. So what I'm trying to say is that, um, uh, as you said, there is one saying that life is a flare where everybody has their responsibilities in their things. Uh, their duties there is it's like my father who take care of us as well as students, like you guys. One thing I wanted to say is that there are lots of students as well as the teachers. They have their responsibilities. A very good afternoon to one and all. I am Kemal Sobdali from the Department of Mass Communication and Journalism. And today I am standing here uh, to, talk, to talk about the topic that belongs to my heart, sense of duty among the citizens. But firstly, let's talk about what is the sense of duty. When we talk about the sense of duty, the sense of duty refers to the awareness and the obligations towards fulfilling responsibilities, uh, towards uh, fulfilling, resp fulfilling responsibility of one's responsibilities towards the society that the person he or she lived in. It is a universal aspect of being a good citizen. But as we all know, our topic is the uh, sense of duty among the citizens. Who are the citizens? The citizens are the citizens are the par are the individual whom one country legally accepted as their members. What if I told you that the citizens are the foundation, one of the foundation of the country? It is important to know we are the foundation of which country. We are the foundation. We are the citizens of the country in which we call our uh, country, in which we call our country, country, the, uh, our mother India. We are, the, we are the citizens of the, you know, world largest democracy where people from different cultures, religions, beliefs come together and live together with peace and harmony. And in order to preserve our peace, we have certain rights and certain responsibilities. And now you might be thinking, why do people have responsibilities? Why do people, what are our, what are our duties? Well, I'm well aware that all of us has our family. And I guess all of us know our responsibilities towards our family, right? But we must know that our, respond, uh, our family belongs to certain uh, society and certain country. And in order to develop our, uh, in order to develop our family, we first have to develop our society and the country that we lived in. Stand on your heart and say that we have done everything right today or since uh, the day you were born. I think uh, we are humans and we, everyone tends to make mistakes. And yeah, as a human we should make mistakes so that we can learn from it. But repeating the mistakes day after day without correcting it, I don't think so, it seems right. So, as the topic suggests that it's a sense of duty among the citizens, so what do you think that what is our duty? Our duty to protect the country, our duty to uh, watch our surroundings, our duty to not hold uh, what we have fear in our minds. As a matter of fact, we all do some mistakes in our day-to-day -day life which uh, does not really uh, impact the country much. But at a very small scale level, if you see, it uh, does impact. Uh, for example, we have our Swaj Bharat mission, which uh, sits upon the cleanliness of the uh, country. But do you think that uh, we need a mission for uh, such, a, uh, such a brilliant topic, that Swaj Bharat mission focus upon the cleaning? So do you think that we need a Swaj Bharat mission to speak upon that? 
And uh, there are some examples of our university that I would, I would like to give. Last week, uh, there was a uh, meeting of uh, G20. Uh, so for the G20 meeting, it seems that everyone has cleaned our campus. There was Swaj Bharat Mission also, everywhere banners were lying here and there. But after the event finished, the, what happened? Just the uh, flyers were lying here and there. The campus again got dirty. So is this a... Uh, do we just need an event to clean our university? I don't think so. So, as a responsible citizen of this country, we should follow all the rules and regulations that are required for uh, uh, keeping the country uh, good, healthy and uh, healthy and wealthy. So, uh, at the last, I would like to uh, speak that, uh, at the very beginning, I asked that, uh, what is the meaning, uh, what is the meaning of uh, uh, of this competition, our speech competition, to on this topic, which is about the self awareness. So, I think the answer to uh, that question is: we actually don't need a competition. We don't need uh, anything to keep uh, our country uh, a clean one, a beautiful one, and uh, maintain the country with their health and wealth. Thank you. Hemin Hu Hian University Zero Lai in the Aram Hun Chang Changa Changa local Tetsuan and Tiam Nale Te in the Du Om Tak Takan Ron Lan Tira Hindi La Fim La Sap La Le Mizo La Baka Lam Hun Om Tak Tak and Ron En Tira Mid Le Beng at Lai Nge Mai Heti Yanga Mitin in Tu Oi Tak Le Nuam Titak Mai Chanem Ngai Taka Tiam Nale Te in the Aram Lan Tira Hi Shing Nun Lut Nati Zual Tu Om Tin Nuam Tu Ani Ah Lim tak nak upang tele cerai dengan tehina an Poland tehina do san lau siami, yuva utsaf ina tumpoi mau tak ani. Sorkar cuan cerai tehi an tehina jalan le tiem nati pun adua. Cu cuan kuat le tu itu an ni tehina tur kong sialin bidang tetan mal som na an lau ni tehi anga. Tiu cerai cu in pek chon zelan ni anga. Cu cuan ram le nam masom na konga na setakin kong rau asudon ani. Mishing tiyam na le te na ti pung tur hiyan eng tik lai po in zir reng may le kun kaan taka nun na reng ni a chul ber lawa. Shing nun lut na po chuak tu rimoy mga kan in oi tle te. En nom le mu nom mga kan in nang faak te a chul ve chi na. Kan nam zir rang shang shang kan in mu sak to na kan in shiat sak to na hiyan. In u nao na le in kom ngay na. In lung rual na le in mga iton na alaw chen te chi na ni. He vang hiyan vo ina po zir lai te chuan an o le ka te mangin an ta le zung mangin te to pan ron chua. MZU Auditoria ma a chang tu a parform tu te an pura an cewel laut hir tu te poin mu no man tiin an kamera te an port suak ring maya an mitat lunga ni tiin lan tiin an kut beng le orol ne an lau tipura an lau lampu ina sa em em bukan ni heti yang amit talent le tiam nak anin lut sakit hir tatak an ia in say say na le indir yam zong akan kaleng cuan mason na ayin nung tol na ateng mai do na in kuat na le in hir ngau na te a lau pun lun mai do na ni Yuva Utsaf Manghian Mizoram University Auditoria ma juan in unaw nalai in Portland na in siyat hiyam ton na nasata ka tlinga ni ti hayroa la nilaw. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Pinku Manilas. I'm studying in computer engineering second year. First of all, I would like to thank all the higher ups of NYP ISOL for giving us this beautiful opportunity to showcase our talents. So, I'm a human beatboxer. So, this is human beatbox. But before performing the real deal, let me tell you what is human beatbox. Human beatbox has three basic sounds. The first is the bass, which goes like this. Second is the hi-hat. And the third is the snare. Three sounds. Three sounds together sounds like this. Let me adjust my voice. <coughs> Allow me to be this freestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, my name 
Yeah. 